Whether you were first or even last, the feeling of crossing the finish line on Boylston indescribable. Now it was particularly meaningful for so many athletes whose lives were changed forever in 2013. WBZ's Christina Rex is live tonight with just some of those really powerful stories, Christina. Chris, absolutely every runner has a reason why they were here today. It's just one of those days that makes you so proud to be from Boston, to be running in Boston, to be living in Boston. And we asked them why they're here. So many of the answers were about family. As the barriers and finish line came down, runners revisited Boylston Street to revel in the memory that happened just hours earlier. The emotion behind any Boston Marathon, even in the rain, is felt by the people who run shoulder to shoulder and become family. It's just so, I can't, it's incredible how the people were there again, you know, through it all. Each runner has a purpose. For 78-year-old Bonnie Cochran Bentz, it's for her family's generational connection to Special Olympics. And this is why I run it, to get this hug for my son at the very end. I promise you. There's no feeling like that. Okay. How, how proud are you right now? I uh, couldn't be prouder. For Danny Shea of Chelmsford, running for the Alzheimer's Association wow. is also about family. So I ran for my father. My father passed in 2015 from Alzheimer's, uh, so I was happy to strap up again for the third time for them, raise money, yeah. raise awareness, run for the first survivor, run for my kids not to live in a world where there is Alzheimer's. Yeah. Same for Maggie Callahan. Her connection to Dana Farber transcends generations. My grandmother worked with them for 20 years and volunteered because she was a patient there. So, um, and the last year she was a volunteer was 2013. So, it was a really big deal for me to run today. Um, and I'm just really grateful. One family in bright yellow stood out Martin Richards' brother and his childhood friends. Ten years after Martin was killed in the 2013 bombings, his friends are finally 18, old enough to run. They're really happy. It's like, like our, along the race, we're kind of like fan favorites, and it's kind of super heartwarming. People like know the name, know what we stand for, and it's kind of it's honoring to be able to, for his legacy. His brother Henry crossing the finish line again with Martin on his mind. I mean, the whole time. I mean, it's a very emotional race for me, for my family, for my friends, Martin's friends. So definitely thought of him the whole way. This is just one of those emotional, joyous days that people in the city just don't want to end. Even as recently as about five seconds ago, I saw a runner with their medal around their neck walking down the sidewalk. How they're still doing it, how they're still walking today, I don't know, but they're just so happy to be out here revisiting the finish line because they don't want this day to end. For now, live in Boylston Street, Christina Rex, WBZ News. Incredible stuff, Christina. Thank you.